All right, everybody, we have some breaking news here on Major League Talk, and Michael Brantley has agreed to a deal with the Toronto Blue Jays. And so Ken Rosenthal said on Twitter, source confirms free agent Michael Brantley in agreement with Blue Jays on a three-year contract pending physical. First at the Hazel May. And of course the news broke and everyone was going nuts. And well, it didn't break that long ago. And in fact, I was just making the thumbnail for the video and bam, it just happened. So, I mean, talking about Michael Brantley, he's a tremendous player and he has a great hit tool. I think that's uh, that he has one of the greatest hit tools in the game. Uh, he's around a 300 hitter year in and year out. And he's a guy that's gonna hit between 35 and 40 doubles. He's also a pretty competent fielder. He can really uncork a throw when he needs to to get a guy out. And I think uh, we've seen that if, uh, well, you watch Major League Baseball or if you've seen the Astros uh, last year, I believe it was when Brantley dove for the ball and, uh, well, fired it over to first for the out. Uh, but anyway, uh, Brantley, tremendous guy, tremendous addition. And I wanna touch on uh, Springer and Brantley uh, with the Jays because Springer, the Springer just uh, really, the news broke uh, right at around midnight, uh, maybe even a little bit earlier, uh, probably at around 11-ish, uh, 11.30-ish. Uh, but yeah, the Springer news broke out and then the Brantley news just broke out at around lunchtime today. So this news is only about 12 hours apart. And aside from that, the Jays went out, they got Kirby Yates, and then you hear a bunch of other stuff about Chris Davinsky and Jose Quintana. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on and I think the free agency market is finally starting to pick it up. The business side of baseball looks tremendous right now. And well, I don't wanna keep the video going too long, but let's touch on the Blue Jays and how they look with the additions of George Springer and Michael Brantley. And so George Springer is obviously a good player and I think we touched on that in the last video, but Michael Brantley is tremendous as well. And like I said, uh, he has a tremendous hit tool. I think it's a little bit better than George Springer's in terms of uh, being able to lay some doubles into the gap, uh, so to speak, uh, but doesn't have as much power. I think he could still hit around 20 home runs a year. Uh, I think that's the type of player Brantley is. Uh, focuses a lot on balls in the gap. And uh, it's, it's tremendous for a team uh, like the Toronto Blue Jays who have a ton of young talent uh, that's able to hit uh, one through eight in the lineup. But the additions of Springer and Brantley just bring two more guys that can hit the ball. And they're two guys who are veterans and are going to help these young guys to be able to transition from being a rookie into a bona fide major league player. But something to bring up about Michael Brantley is that he's a four-time All-Star He's a silver slugger. He's got postseason experience along with George Springer. So, you know, both of these guys are gonna help them get to the playoffs. That's that's no doubt. And when they get there, uh, they have a proven track record that they could play in the playoffs. Uh, that they're not just guys that cool off. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do on the Blue Jays. I'm really excited, especially with a place like Rogers Stadium. I mean, how could you not hit the ball in Rogers Stadium? So uh, it, it's going to be fun to watch. I'm excited for the Blue Jays fans, and I'm excited for uh, the Toronto Blue Jays and uh, what lies ahead for them in the near future because their future is just getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, well, it's seemingly every 12 hours. And even though Michael Brantley is, well, uh, you, some would say in the latter end of his career, he could still produce. He's still an elite hitter in Major League Baseball, which is, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, uh, looking at him at around, uh, I believe 34 years old, uh, still being able to hit it around 300 and lacing doubles into the gap. And uh, just his overall athleticism really speaks to the fact that Brantley keeps himself in shape. Uh, he, he really puts his all out there on the field. And so the Blue Jays wanted a guy like that and they got it for sure. But there is one concern, and that one concern is, with the additions of Springer and Brantley, does this create maybe some confidence issues in terms of uh, the players on the field and maybe uh, their production? Because let's let's be honest, uh, Randall Grichik uh, had a pretty good season and so did the other two, uh, Lourdes Gurriel and Teoscar Hernandez. So all three of these players uh, could really be saying to themselves, well, uh, where, where do I stand? in terms of where the Blue Jays are and where am I gonna go? And so I, I guess the Blue Jays thoughts of this is, well, uh, we could try and flip some guys for maybe a few prospects or some money, even though, well, the Blue Jays have a pretty flexible 
uh, financial situation in terms of uh, how much money they have. So, I mean, it is disappearing quickly with how many free agents are being signed, but they still have some room to be, uh, to be able to make even more big moves. And talking about big moves, I think one more piece that they could add is a starting pitcher, and I think that could just cap it off uh, for the Blue Jays offseason. And I think they did a tremendous job. I think uh, they did it. The Mets did it, the Padres did it. All three of these teams had very loud off seasons. And uh, it's really exciting, all three of these teams, uh, well, uh, you would think they're gonna make the playoffs for sure. Uh, so we'll see what happens when the season approaches, how they play in spring training, how they play during the season. Hopefully it's a full 162 this year, and I couldn't be any more excited. Uh, for the game of baseball. But thank you all for sticking around until the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, down below for more baseball content. Of course, I appreciate it. And uh, I, I'll also leave my Instagram link down there as well if you would like to check that out. But for right now, this has been Major League Talk, and I will see you in the next video. Hold up. Wait a minute. We got some more news coming right in hot from Mark Feinstein saying... Per source, the deal between the Blue Jays and Michael Brantley is not done. The Blue Jays remain very interested and in the mix, along with other clubs, but there has not been an agreement between the two sides. But personally, I do think that a deal will get done between the two sides, uh, but we'll see how it works out and we'll see when it works out. But I will see you next time here on Major League Talk.